Hi, I'm Tim Allen. I'm the president of Suburban Tool. I've been with the company for 35 years. You'll be seeing my face throughout these tutorials. I hope we can help you out with some problems that you've had. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us directly at Suburban Tool, 248-391-7800, or through our website, subtool.com. Hi, I'm Tim Allen. Uh, I'm here today to talk a little bit about our Masterview 14-inch comparator. This happens to be our model MV14M. It's a 14-inch. It's got a 10x lens. It comes equipped with the Minitoyo QM Data 200, which makes it really easy to take some of the measurements that you're going to do every day with a comparator. Most of the functions are canned. You've got circle, slot, square, angle. Those are all canned functions. You don't have to do a lot of button pushing to get your measurements. So we're going to take a couple quick simple measurements here just to show you how easy it is. We're going to measure this angle. We've got this set up at quite an acute angle here so that you can see. All you have to do is pick a couple points here, a couple points here, you get your information. So we're going to start with the angle. One button shows right on the display you need two points on side one so let's come up here we'll pick up point one side one is done so now we're going to come over and do side two this has a handy little feature here it highlights the next point you need to select in green so you know where you should be going to get your measurement. We've picked those four points. It gives us both the inside angle and the outside angle, 110 degrees and 249 degrees. And it gives us the theoretical intersection of those two lines, which we obviously can't see, but might be important depending on the type of measurements you're doing. Now let's do this little radius here again. It's one button. Tells us we've got to pick three points. So we come over here, we start picking our points. There's point A. There's point B. There's point C gives us the theoretical center of that circle out here and it gives us the diameter 502 thousandths. You can go back and see any of the measurements you've taken. You just scroll back and it shows you they're all numbered in here. It tells you what they are. You can reuse any of those features if you wanted to. If you needed the intersection of that circle and the one of those lines, it's a canned function. Again, it's a really nice unit, economically priced. If you'd like more data information, please feel free to contact us right here at Suburban Tool or check us out on our website, subtool.com.